So, uh, what do you say? You ready to hit the road with your old partner? <laughs> just remember, Angela, I'm not promising anything. Just that we're going to work together. Well, that's a promise. Yeah, I know, but I'm not, I'm not committing to... Uh... I know, I know. I'm not stupid or blind. I know that you still have feelings for Tina. Just as long as you understand. I do. Well, you know, who knows? And maybe it'll, uh, it'll work out better than ever, huh? Yeah. But we need to find a way to bankroll our little excursion before Alex Hesser finds out that we ran up a $10,000 tab and dummied her signature on the dotted line. Angela, aren't you ready? The late prayer meeting's due to start. Oh, yes, thank you, Rebecca. I lost track of time. I'll be right in. Okay. Showtime. I have a collect call from Powell Lord. Will you accept the charges? Ma'am, will you accept? Uh, yeah, okay. Go ahead, please. Marty? Yeah. Thanks for taking the call. I, I know it's it's out of line for me to do this, but uh, it's, it's, it's kind of an emergency. What kind of emergency? Something's going on with Nora Gannon. What do you mean? She needs help. I mean it. There's something really wrong, Marty. Nora forced Bo's car off the road. Yeah. And she didn't remember it. Apparently she had blacked out and lost control of the car. I gather she only put all these facts together during the past few days. It's mm. amazing. Bo, how is Bo taking this news? I just came from him. He is... He's shattered. I think they both are. Would you please it's just... Okay, no, no, moving. Nora, don't you dare walk away. Home. Why, why? So you can run away again? I didn't run away. I didn't know I caused an accident. I woke up... No, no, I'm not talking about Thanksgiving. I'm talking about you packing all your stuff and leaving our house today. No, listen. You may think that you can just keep running, but there's no way you're going to get away from this nightmare, so why don't you just stay and let's talk about it. I shouldn't have come here to Sarah's grave. Me, of all people, I have to leave. No, you're the last person I ever expected to find here, but I came here looking for some answers. I'm not letting you go until I find out. sick or something I don't know I don't I don't think so but when she came to see me she was she was really upset about something she was talking about wanting to be forgiven and then she said she she didn't know whether she was gonna be able to confess Nora what does she have to confess I couldn't get her to tell me but she, she's so upset I she scared me Marty and I couldn't do anything to help her after all she's done for me. You know, I, I don't see Nora that much. I know, but... Listen. Being in this place, it's, uh... It's really the pits. But it'd be so, so much worse. So much worse, Marty, if, if it weren't for you and Nora. You, you... I owe the two of you an awful lot. Only I can't do anything to help Nora fr from here. But what am I supposed to do? Look, I'm sorry, pal. It's just that this phone call... It... I know. Probably the sound of my voice. Yeah, it, um... kind of got to me. I'm sorry. Look, I'll, um... I'll try to find Nora. I'll, I'll do whatever I can. I, I, I'd really... I really appreciate this, Marty. Yeah, well, I haven't done anything yet. And even if I find her, I don't know what kind of help I'm going to be. Well, thanks for trying. Goodbye. Goodbye, pal. Don't you think, uh, Bo should try to work this out with Nora? Yes, of course I think that. But, I mean, it's no 
not up to me to know how much Bo can or cannot accept. I think it's a bit arrogant of me giving advice in a situation no, like no. this. Well, you, you were, you're just trying to help. Yeah, but I don't think I helped him very much. I really didn't know what to say to him. You know, he loved Sarah so much. Oh, dear. Well, I wish there was something we could do. It's unfortunately on his shoulders. I know, but I think he might need a friend. So if you don't mind, I'm not going to stay here tonight. No. I'm going to stay at home in case he calls. Okay. And if he does call... I will call you right away. Yeah, okay. You know, I think about the time I thought I would never see you again. Oh, dear. Your life can be full of love, and then it's suddenly taken away from you. Just suddenly disappears. There's nothing quite so painful. It's okay, let go of me. I'm, I won't go anywhere. I don't know what answers you think I can give you. I don't know either. I don't know anything. I don't know what I'm thinking right now. I don't know what I'm feeling. I really, I don't know much of anything. The only thing I do know is I don't know what we're gonna do. But maybe if we just talked, okay? If we just really talked together right now, maybe we could work through this. What's the news? What, you don't know that? There may be something that you haven't even thought of. Like what? I, I don't know. Maybe maybe some kind of a, some something that could shoot that so-called irrefutable evidence of yours right out of the water. Oh, sure. It's possible. Mm. No, it's uh, there's always a possibility, listen to me, that you did not cause the accident. Please, don't shake your head. I get dealt with every possibility. Do you think I'm jumping to conclusions? Out of what? Out of guilt? Out of some, some desire to ruin my life? Oh, I've been over and over and over every detail. Yeah, but it still doesn't make any sense to me. How could you force us off a major highway, over a bridge, and right into the Lantano River and not even know about it? This isn't it? gonna work. What is it? I remember the look in your eyes when I told you what I'd done. No, 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 what you think! I will you... never, ever forget that look. It has just burned into my brain. And now... And now what? You believe it. You believe I killed Sarah. And you would give anything in the world for it not to be. So would I. I would love to find that loophole. That thing that would prove that this is all just a sad, sad mistake. But it's true. It is. I'm sorry, I, I should never have come here. This is your place, yours and, and, and Sarah's. You and I have to find a way to live through this and put our lives back together separately. What are your toys doing in Vicky's room to begin with? I don't know. Yeah. All right, sweetheart. You hit the sheets, okay? Tomorrow's gonna be a big day. Your daddy's bringing Grandpa Clint home from Arizona. What are we supposed to be telling Daddy? What do you mean? Are we supposed to be telling Daddy the truth or tell Daddy the story that doesn't have Cain in it? Uh... Listen, um, well, the truth is that Cain isn't in either story anymore, so you don't have to lie to Daddy. If you just don't talk about Cain at all, then you'll be telling him the truth. But I miss Cain. I love him. I know. I know just how you feel. Okay. Okay. Our 
lives just get more and more full, don't they? Sometimes it's the fullness of joy, family, the work you love. Sometimes that fullness grows more and more heavy. Too many burdens, too many bills, too many bones to pick with too many people. You can change it. You can. But it takes courage to face that task of reinventing your life. Now, if you need help with that courage, if you need help with that task, the Lord will give you strength. I'm glad you came you to hear Angela's task, sermon. The Lord will give you courage. Thanks, well, my. It's if you need very, help uh, with that task, inspiring. the Lord will give you courage. After all, the Lord knows that all of you, everyone in this room, deserves a second chance. I know it's not always easy. I know it's hard. I know that sometimes you wake up in the morning and you... Uh, um, brothers and sisters, there's one among us who needs help, physical help. And the best way to help is for me to have some time alone with them to show them God's healing through his love. So if you could please just all quietly leave, I would really greatly appreciate it. Thank you very much. Rebecca? <laughs> Thank you so much for coming. Thank you for your help and your understanding. Oh, Wanda, you're not feeling so well, are you? I've been better. Hey, Rebecca, will you go and get a... Uh, there's a glass of water up there behind that. Just get this off here for you. It's okay. Just relax and breathe. Just breathe deeply. I know it's not easy to do when you have that pain in your chest like that, but you just breathe. There you go. Just breathe. There, nice and slowly. Here. Here you go. There. Yeah. Deep down in your belly. Oh, thank you. Here. Just take a little sip of this, okay? I want you to go and call her nephew Jason right away. There, there. How you doing? See? You're gonna be okay. You're gonna be just fine. You hear me? I'm gonna be fine. That's right. You're gonna be, be fine. fine. Now, you doing what I told you? You're relaxing? You breathe. No, no, I told you. You have to relax. You have to let go. Let it go. Come on. Let those shoulders go. Come on. You can do it. There you go. There you go. See? Hi, Andrew. Hey, Marty. What's up? I'm looking for Nora. Have you seen her around? No. No. I was looking for her earlier. Yeah, why? Just to talk. Something's wrong, isn't it? And you're just not telling me what it is? Wrong? No, it's just it can be handled. Look, for months, friends have been saying that they want to help me, right? And they did. Well, now it's my turn to help Nora. She needs friends right now, and I would like to be that friend. Please don't shut me out on this. You're the one that, uh, that wanted to get out of here, so why don't you do it? Go on. You made the unilateral decision. You determined that we don't really belong together. You figured it all out. You're the one that packed up and moved out of the house. So what are you still doing here? What else could I have possibly done, though? I don't know. I don't know. I just, I, I, I know how, uh, I know that I almost died when you told me you caused the accident. That's why. But it doesn't help for you to just drop out of my life now. How could I possibly stay? Everything has changed between us. No, no. Not everything. I still love you. I do. I still love you, and I know that you still love me. The only thing that I don't really know is what we're going to do about it. Some things... Some things really are forever. But some things... So where do we go from here? Isn't there some way, some way in the world that we can work through this?
You want everything that touches your baby to be just. Oh, Vicky, I'm sorry. I CJ came in here with his toys, and I told him not to. But I... It's perfectly all right. CJ can play in here if he wants to, as long as he doesn't play knock off you with my jewelry. So, would you like to tell me what's wrong? I was just thinking about Cord. I was just thinking how we're trying so hard to hide my involvement with Kane from him, and now I'm not even involved with Kane anymore, so I wonder why are we keeping any secrets? I think that when Cord comes back from Arizona with Clint, I'm going to tell him the truth. No, Tina, please, no. Larry and Dr. Jonas have both said that would be very risky. I know, but Vicki, I hate this line. <laughs> Get that. Coming from me, I hate this line. Darling, I don't have the answers, but I really don't think you should do anything that drastic right now, okay? Just not now. This family has enough to deal with. Clint is coming home. He's got a recovery to do. Uh, uh, Bo is trying to deal... Well, Bo? What, what, what? What's going on with Bo? Nothing. Nothing. He and Nora are having uh, problems, that's all. Oh. It is impossible. Love is absolutely impossible. It is a wonder that any families are still intact. You and Sloane, you're together. I mean, you beat the odds. Hey, where is he anyway? He's at home. I wanted to be here tonight in case uh, somebody called. Well, it's none of my business, but if I were you, I would make sure Sloan was with you every minute of every day. <laughs> Good night, babe. Mm -hmm. Good night. But like I said, it's none of my business. Thank you. All right, this I'm going to tell you without breaking any confidentiality. Yes, you're right to think that Nora needs a friend. And it might be good for both of you if you were to find her, but you should just make yourself available and then leave the rest up to Nora. Right? Mm -hmm. And I do think it's good that you're that you're concerned about someone else. Yeah, for a change, huh? Well, I've seen a lot of changes in you, a lot. A lot of these changes are good, wonderful, in fact. Yeah. Well, it's nice to hear that you think so. If you excuse me, Reverend, I have a friend to check up on. You're right, Bo. Nothing has changed in the way I feel about you. That will never change. But everything else, Every other thing has changed. How could we ever live in peace together? No, 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 just... no, months ago, I stood here and I watched you almost die from grief. You were so devastated at the loss of Sarah that it, you, you didn't know how to go for the rest of your life except to find the driver of the car that killed Sarah. Listen, I don't need to hear this. Yes, no, you no. do. Yes, you do. We work side by side trying to find the monster who forced your car off the road. Our work paid off. We found her. I'm the monster, Bo. Hillshire Farm knows companies not only... Will you please make sure that she goes and sees Dr. Absolutely. Bullock? Absolutely. I will take over there as soon as I can. Will you oh, hold it down? Yeah. Listen to me. I love you, okay? You're the only family that I have. And if you were not going to take care of yourself, then I guess I have to do it for you. Are you listening to me? Well, it's pretty hard to miss. I mean, you're talking loud and Is this clear. clear? I mean, you understand? I'm having chest pains, and he is yelling at me. Yes, but well, we all yes. show love in different ways. <laughs> I'd like to thank you for coming to get me. I really appreciate it. Oh, don't thank me. Angela did everything. I mean, she sent me to get you, and she took care of Wanda. She always knows how to help. 
Well, I'm not a believer, so I'm not around much. And uh, matter of fact, I don't even think I know you very well, but uh, I'd like to thank you for working so fast. Oh, well, I would do anything for Wanda. All right, come on. Let's come go. off, get no. out of here. I can walk by myself. I know. Get away. You're really great. Thank you. <laughs> oh, thank you. And you take yes. care of yourself. You hear me? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> oh, is your car oh. here? I'll, I'll help you out. You are a miracle worker. Well, I can't. I was just trying to keep Wanda from panicking. Yeah, but she was okay because she thought you could work miracles. You had some direct line to God. I mean, miracles are your bread and butter here at the Tabernacle of Joy, am I right? Why? What are you thinking? I'm thinking we need money to get out of town, and this is the place to do it. Oh, come on, Kane. These meetings only bring in about a hundred bucks a week. No, I'm not talking about just these kind of meetings. I'm talking about big time. One huge revival. Miracles busting out all over the place. Right? Well advertised, well attended, and well oiled. Big time. Yeah. Big money. Trust me, it'll work. You know, it'll just take a few days. That's all. All we have to do is make sure we stay out of Dorian and Alex's way until then. Right. What? <sighs> Nothing. What? No, no, what? What is it? Well, I'll just be glad when this game is over. Just gets too personal sometimes. And? Come on, there's something else. What is it? I'm worried about Rebecca. Well, what about her? Kane, I, I am responsible for her. I, I can't just pack up and abandon her. Well, okay, you know, you do what you want to do, but... I'm leaving town. I mean, the witches of Landview are closing in. And with you or without you, I'm out of Dodge. Should have known. Always looking out for number one, huh? Look, Angela, it is the <laughs> smart thing to do. But I, I'm not saying don't come with me. It's up to you. But let me tell you, if you're thinking of taking that kid along, no way. But we do the miracle game, and I've gone. You with me or not? Okay. I'm with you. Like the planned. I'm so glad you called me. <laughs> I'm so glad you didn't make it. I would have invited myself if I could have thought of a gracious way to do it. Vicky, do you want to go out? Would you shoot? I was going to ask if you want to go to a movie or rent them. I don't know. Listen, I'm sorry. I guess you don't know. <laughs> well, I was going to go out because I'm feeling uh, restless. So I thought I'd go out because I'm restless feeling all sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, uh, Tina. I, no, uh... no, no, Sloan. It's, 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 I saw, it's, all, it's, uh... Vicky, don't you know you're supposed to hang a red handkerchief on the doorknobs when you have boys in the dormitory? <laughs> <laughs> have fun, you guys. Are you sure about having me stay over? <laughs> I shall. <laughs> you are welcome here. You are welcome anywhere I am because you are the center of my life. Now, where were we? Mm, right here. question of me forgiving you, Nora. And what is it? Look, I know that you didn't intend to hurt Sarah. You weren't even conscious. I mean, you didn't... You didn't, didn't even know that it had happened. That's when you're rational. Right. And how do you feel? You're right. Everything has... Do you, do you remember me saying to you that uh, if I could just find the person 
that caused Sarah's death, and maybe, maybe I could make some sense of it all, you know, and that I could go on with my life. And here I am. And here you are. Yeah. The woman that I love. And every time I look at you, it doesn't matter how much my mind wants me to say that it's, it's not your fault. I know that I'd always hold you responsible for Sarah's death. Can't get over that hurdle. No, but can it? You... you know it can't. I love you. Possibly the silliest question I have ever heard. Mm. Do I remember? No, it's also hazy. Ooh, what is that? Very funny, very funny. You can keep that on, you know. You're going to have to uh, tell Clint we've made it official. Yes, I know. He's coming home tomorrow, and I think the time is very right to tell him. Well, can we set a date? It'll be a June bride. No. Huh? I don't want to wait that long. October, next week. No, no. <laughs> Let's compromise. We'll make it spring. Very early, early spring. I'll give yes. you about one month to be president of the university. Yes. You're on. Early spring. Oh. Is it awfully callous of us to be celebrating our happiness while Bo and Nora are suffering so much? Hmm? No. It's never wrong to love. We can't do anything for Bo and Nora right now. They have to resolve things on their own. I think you're right. Love is really the only answer, isn't it? Mm. Nora. I found her. And? And nothing. It's, uh, it's over. It's, it's just over. Look, I'm tired, Andrew, so, uh... I tried what you, uh, told me to do. I gave it my best shot. Look, I won't take too much of your time. Just tell me, is there anything that I can do to help? Maybe you could uh, rewind that big tape recorder in the sky and, uh, and cut out Sarah and me going off the bridge, Nora blacking out. Maybe none of the three of us being on Airport Road that night. 
I'm sorry, Bo. It's just way out of my jurisdiction. Then, uh, no, Andrew, I'm sorry. Thanks. There's nothing you can do. Mom, I know you need to be alone, so I'm at Dad's for the night. If you need company, call me and I'll be right home. Love, Rachel. Thank you, baby. I didn't want you to see me like this. I'm sorry. Oh, Powell called and he, he told me you were upset and uh, he was worried about you. He just wanted me to check on you. Um, you, you want to, do you want to tell me what happened? Why you're so upset? Oh, oh that's okay. You don't have to. I mean, if you don't want to, whatever you, I'll go. I can go. Whatever, whatever you say. No. You stay. You stay. You know what I used to think about you? I used to think that you were the worst kind of criminal. Remember that? Yeah, you thought I was a hit and run driver. Mm. I really hate that, you know? I mean, talking about not owning up to your actions, destroying lives without consequences. I thought you were just the kind of person who would cause a fatal accident and just walk away. Do you know what the hoot is? The person who caused that accident that I thought you were responsible for? It was me. What? That's right. That's right, all along. It was me. I did it. And in the process, I destroyed three lives. You're lucky. I could have ruined your lives, too, while I was at it. See, Sarah lost her life. Bo lost the woman he loved. And me? I lost everything. when it stands alone. But want some new ideas? Pile on two. So, how do you like living here? In Landview? I love it. Do you really? Oh, I've, I've never been happier in my entire life. I mean, I love it here at the Tabernacle, and I'm really enjoying General Carpenter's class at the university. I've got friends. Oh, Joey Buchanan is coming back from Arizona soon. <laughs> I just, I don't know how to tell you how grateful I am to you for letting me stay here. I don't know how I'll ever repay you. I mean, it's like you gave me a whole new life. No. Oh. You don't owe me a thing. You don't have to ever pay me back. Oh, and you know what? It was really a surprise to see Kane Rogan here. I mean, you really can do anything. Maybe if he keeps coming to the sermons, you can really save his soul. Ugh. Wait, 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 Kane. Might not, you know, there's no reason why we can't, um, Share this little bit of uh, real estate together for a while, is there? I don't know, is there? 
Oh, well, uh, there's something I'm gonna tell you, though. Forget it. Well, well, well. Wait, you don't wanna wait, you know, wait for the good part. I, uh, I hereby promise to fully accept without reservation your, uh, decision to never have anything to do with me ever again. And, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do my part. I'll put some space between us. A lot of space. Is that your liking? Sounds good to me. Good. Good. All right, that's what, that's what you want. That's what you're gonna get. Goodbye, Tina. After all that hard work, I was wrong. Can you beat that? It wasn't me who forced you and Sarah off the road. It wasn't me. It was just... It was all some horrible, huge, stupid mistake. It was a mistake, Bob. It was a mistake. few months, um, I've had what you could call a crash course in forgiveness. <laughs> it wasn't a big thing in my past, so I really didn't know what to do with it. I never thought that I'd be able to forgive Powell for what he did to me. But when I saw what kind of price he was paying, I, I could make peace with it somehow, you know? Very big difference. Yes, there is. Bo loves you. Why shouldn't he be able to get over this in time? I mean, I mean, you blacked out. You didn't mean to drive them off the road. It really doesn't matter, you know. <sighs> it's not what I intended. It's not what I meant to do. It doesn't matter. The end result is all the same. I did it. That's always going to stand between me and Bo. What are you going to do? I'm going to throw myself into my work. And I'm going to forget. I'm going to try and forget Bo. And I'm just going to stick to business, you know, strictly. What? What's wrong? I'm going to throw myself into my work. Oh, yeah, sure. What's the problem? I got a business meeting tomorrow morning with a station manager from out of town and Bo. What are you going to do? I don't know what I'm going to do. I love him very much, but right now I would give anything if I never had to face him again. 